Yeah. Think of your card. Yeah. Think of your card. We'll see if this works. Think of your card. Now? Right yeah, now? just think of it now. Oh my fucking god. Gee, man. Bubbles, bubbles. Yeah, man. <laughs> Today, I've got some exciting things to talk about because today we're gonna to be looking at a very special app on your phone. Stay tuned to the end of the video where you can find out how to win one of these hats that I will sign and send to you personally. I'll let you guys know uh, at the end of the video. So watch the video first because I might leave some hints in there, maybe. This is an app that goes for Android, that goes for iOS, whatever you need, but it's a magic app. Now, there are a lot of magic apps that exist out there presently, and so I'm gonna be starting kind of like a mini series every now and then to present one of these apps to you. Today's app is actually a very special app because it is brand new. This is, uh, I think it has been released now, but I got to sort of test it, and I've got the sort of beta version and whatever, but now it's available for everybody. So I left the link below uh, for the multiple sort of platforms you can download it on but I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about this app before you go ahead and purchase it and let you know sort of not how it works because that's the sort of trick that's the magic within it but sort of the practicality of it and if you're if this is for you or if it isn't so first of all this app is called any card and why is it called any card because it literally works with any card a lot of you especially those of you who aren't familiar with magic apps might think it has some voice recognition, which to my knowledge has not even been done yet in the magic world. And why has that not been done? Because people speak with different accents, they speak with different voices, they speak in different languages. So it would be very, very difficult unless you're speaking very clearly, which would make the method very obvious. It would be very difficult to make that app. So this has no voice recognition whatsoever. You can whisper it into someone's ear or just have them look at a card. And that's kind of what I did here. So you got to see a little bit of a snippet in the beginning. I'm gonna show you a full performance of this and then uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more. What's up? I'm here with my man, Sean. What's up, Sean? How you doing? Okay. Good, you? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something interesting now. Um, do a little bit of a mind reading effect, okay? Okay. So I have a deck of cards here and this, I'm gonna make you choose a card in the most fair way possible, okay? okay. So I'm not gonna look at the card you choose. And you can show it to the camera, but I'm not gonna look, because so, I don't wanna see it, okay? okay? So I'm gonna turn around, you take whatever card you want and show it to the camera. All good? You got it? All good, yeah. All right, put it right back. Okay. No way I know what that card is. You happy with that? I mean, all the cards, are different? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I want you just to think of your card, Sean. Alright? Yeah, okay. I'll do it. Here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to take whatever card you're thinking of right now, whatever it is, I don't know what it is, and I'm gonna try to project it over here, okay? So think yeah. of your card. Yeah. Think of your card. We'll see if this works. Think of your card. No? Right yeah, now. just think of it now. So that was the performance of any card. This is basically an app that was made by a company called K52 that reached out to me that wanted my opinion on this app. And to my delight, it's actually pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of technology such as apps within Magic, although there are some exceptions that I'll use. I normally won't make the app the main effect, but a part of a bigger effect. Uh, such in this case, my presentation was basically they fairly chose a card any card they wanted, I turned around, put it back, did not look at their card. I, I put the deck down, I didn't do some weird shady shuffle or anything. So that was it, they're only thinking of a card and then I projected what they were thinking on the phone. Now because this is an app, it, it happens on your phone and a lot of you might be like, well, it's kind of sketchy, it's kind of fishy, but the reactions that I've got were at least very genuine. You know, if you rule out the voice recognition, which is a very important thing to rule out when presenting this effect, you, you kind of have to tell them don't say it out loud because you might think that this is, you know, has something to do with your voice. So just keep it in your mind only. By presenting it that way, it makes it really, really impossible. To get into the app, basically, boom, you've turned on the app at this point. All you have to do, you have a tutorial and uh, you have go. <laughs> so basically, 
Uh, the tutorial teaches you how to use this. I, I believe for now it's available in Italian and in English. After that, you press go, and on the go screen, this is what you're left with, a black blank screen. Have them think of a card, or they can choose a card, or they can even say it out loud if you like, or whisper it in your ear, or write it down, or whatever. And once, once you have that information, you can basically say, okay, seven of clubs, boom, right there. It's very, very simple. Now, if you're thinking, well, he probably memorized like 52 quadrants on this phone, that is not at all all how this works and one of the first things that people will try guessing especially magicians that I've shown this to is well it's like a quadrant like a grid of 52 and you have to memorize literally there is like no memorization. This is the easiest app I've ever toyed with in terms of magic tricks. That doesn't mean it isn't fooling. I've shown this to magicians and they couldn't work out how it worked. It literally, I had to give them the phone and they spent 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes they had an idea of how it worked and then when I told them the secret, they were like, oh my God, that's so clever. Like, I mean, if I had a random person here, I'd have them name a random card, but let's say eight of diamonds, right? So boom, right there. It can be any, it's that easy. So again, one of the main points that I wanna stress about this app is that A, there are no forces. You do not have to force a card. It can be any card, which is why they kind of name this app any card. There is no voice recognition and no image scanning. If you think you have to wave the card over the phone or any, you don't even need to have a deck. It could be a board deck or it could be simply, literally, they think of something, right? And there are ways to get that information and then boom, you make it appear on the phone. So super, super simple. Once you know the secret of this, you, you will be able to perform it right away. Straight, straight up. You download it, look at it, you'll be like, Ah, it's so smart. Bam, you're into performing and you can use this any, any time. Uh, one thing that I like to use this for, but I've been using it for more and more, is if I mess up. If I mess up a trick or something and blah, 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 you know what, last resort, take the phone out, boom, flax, right on the phone, the card they're thinking of. So it's a great way to do that. You can also do like a pretty visual thing with it, kind of like this. Now for me, although the visual is great, is cool, it's a cool way, it's very basic. And so if you're just starting and you don't wanna go into the more heavy stuff, such as uh, the performance that I did, then you can just do the visual thing, which I think is still pretty cool. But regardless, no matter what it is, this is an app that is accessible to everybody. You can download it. I think it is a paid app, so it's like six or seven bucks. But after that, I mean, you're good for life. There's no, nothing you have to pay for in the app and you're ready to go. So for an app to be like this price is pretty good because I have some apps on my phone that are worth like 80 to $100 each. I use them less than I use this app. So let that be a little bit of a pro tip for you guys. Another cool thing is that you can have the spectator actually sort of touch the screen. So again, it doesn't it doesn't work with like quadrants or anything. So have a look at this performance where I had the spectator think of a card and then touch the screen. I think it's a really cool way to present this effect because it's kind of like you're taking what's in their mind and projecting it through to the phone. So have a look. I want you to think, I want you to think of a playing card, okay. okay? You think of it in your mind? Yeah. Okay. There's no way I can know what this card is. Nope. You happy about that? Is a free selection? Yep. A free choice completely? Free. All right, because this is very important right now, because what you're going to see is something pretty crazy. All right, come over here, come over here. This guy. All right. What are you going to do, huh? Oh, hell no, you're Here's not what we're gonna doing do. that. I'm going to watch this. <laughs> Give me your finger, just your finger, and I want you to think of the card. Okay. All right, think of it. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Watch, watch, yeah. watch. Fucking guy, why does he do this? Brain, fucking my brain, man. Oh, man. All right, so before I leave you, as promised, uh, I'm going to give away one of these sick little Chris Ramsey hats, you can have a look at that embroidering. Look at that, look how good that looks. Ooh wee! I'm gonna sign this, I'm gonna sign it right now. Here we go. Officially signed by me, this is what the signature is going to look like. And if you want to grab one of those, simply 
you must be subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Just drop a comment below. I'll choose one of the comments. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I actually enjoy this little segment about like product reviewing and stuff, but so many people review like decks and products and stuff. I thought it'd be interesting to look at like magic apps because there are several out there. So every now and then I'm going to drop one of these videos. Let me know below if you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for your time, guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>